Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to the third and final week of our Strategies for a Successful Summer video series. I am so glad you are tuning in today and have been following along as we've brought on a number of guests who have shared amazing strategies for having a more successful summer. And I've also shared a few of ours as well from lessons we've learned here at Our Young Creators. If we haven't met yet, my name is Young Pratt and I am the Chief Dreamer author and podcaster right here at Our Young Creators. Here at OYC, we are on a mission to give kids skills so that they can go out there, serve others, create a life of their dreams, and to fund their adventures in the process. Well, here we are on week number three, and I have to tell you, I've been having so much fun with this series. This series probably could go on for quite a while longer. However, I have some other things I want to share with you in addition to these strategies. So if you want more strategies, you can head over to our podcast and you can just go there to our website at ouryoungcreators.com slash podcast. And there you can tune in to all of our hundred plus episodes right there on our website. And of course, coming soon, still in the works, that Alexa Flash Briefing, that daily mini bite-sized show that you can take and listen to first thing in the morning and go take action on throughout the day. We are still recording those in a batch and those are coming very soon. So if you're looking for more strategies, those are two great places for you to find more from us here at OYC. And as you are tuning in live or if you're catching the replay, say hello and let me know you are here. I'm curious to know, is there one or two strategies that you have learned so far in this series that have been really impactful for you? Let me know in the comments. And if you're listening to this episode on the podcast, please come back to our website and let us know there as well. I'm always curious to know who takes away what from our guests and our strategies that we share. So I'm really keen to know what you've learned and what you have implemented into your life thus far. So today our topic is strategies for raising a creator in this digital age. I get asked a lot about the term creator. And for us, the word creator is a very big term. Hello, Shannon. I'm so glad you get to catch me live today. Thank you for tuning in. We define creators as those kids who are the change makers, who are the innovators, who are the leaders for the next generation because they are being raised by parents who are ensuring that they have opportunities to explore their gifts and talents because creation can really manifest in so many different ways. For example, in our music lessons, we're actually helping these young kids turn their desire to learn music into this path of being a creator. Once they learn how to put music together and understand some basic components of it, they can start taking those lessons and applying them on their own and start to make their own creations. Over the past 17 years, I've taught lots and lots of different styles of dance classes and I have to say my favorite has always been the choreography or the improvisation classes. 
And that is because as a teacher, my greatest joy is always being able to take a look at what my students have learned, give them skills, give them knowledge, give them technique, and then have them assimilate all the information, make it relevant for them, and then put something together on their own. And that's very much what we do here at OYC. We're giving these kids and their parents different types of skills like podcasting, and they can take our systems and our strategies and apply those, and they can put their own unique spin and use their own unique gifts in being able to serve others. So when I think about raising creators and what a strategy might be. One of the things that I want to remind you of is that sometimes to move forward, we need to pump the brakes a little bit. Sometimes we need to get out of the car or leave the room because we need to step away. Because sometimes when we're consumed with the big picture, we have an idea in mind for what we want to help our kids create and learning anything new, of course, there's always going to be a learning curve. And sometimes during that curve, there can be some challenges or some road bumps, speed bumps that happen. So when those happen, my advice for you is to take a step back and to leave the situation, whether that means you go outside, you go find another activity to do together, or you just part ways for a little bit so you can clear your heads, we can cool down, we can reassess, and then we can come back together and move forward together again. And this is very much what I did this morning. I've been listening to lots and lots of podcasts about work and effort and joy and manifesting. And one of the themes that keeps coming up over and over and over again is this idea about effort. The more effort we put in does not equate to more success on the other side. And this is so true when it comes to raising kids. Sometimes as you're working towards something and you want to show them or have an experience something, sometimes we have to just say, whoa, we're going to take a break. We're going to step back. We're going to go do something else because the effort gets really hard and really challenging. And all of a sudden, whatever you're creating together doesn't seem as fun. So when you're out there helping your kids to create, and whether that creation is through their, their devices, whether they're creating with their hands in an artistic form, like painting, drawing, writing, taking pictures, whatever it is they're creating, just think about taking a step back sometimes analyzing the situation, maybe even journaling about it. I'm not much of a big journaler. However, over the past eight or 10 weeks, I've really gotten into doing more of it because I do find that once I get it out of my head and onto paper, those feelings that sometimes come up of fear or insecurity tend to go away because I've expressed them. I've written them down. I've gotten them out of my head. They can't be in there during the day and distract me because I put them on paper and those thoughts then don't be, aren't part of my daily going, going on, if that makes sense. Right. So as you're raising your kids and you're helping them experience new things, finding things that bring them joy. And if you ever reach a moment in time where it starts to feel hard, it starts to feel less joyful. It starts to feel a bit frustrating. Those are the moments that I want you to take a break, step back. Go move your body in a different way, whether that means going outside for a walk, grabbing your fur babies and loving on them, grabbing a drink of water, whatever it is, just remove yourself, slow down, step back, assess 
And then once you've cleared your head of any frustrations you may be experiencing, then you can go back in. Because then when you go back in with this clear head and this new sense of purpose, this new sense of joy, you can enter into that amazing state of flow where things start to become really easy and time just evaporates because you're so absorbed in the project. Now, this summer with your kids, I would love for you to be able to reach this amazing state of flow as you're creating with them. Maybe they're helping you create your podcast, and maybe that means they're doing some graphic design work. If you can give them this task and delegate to them something that is important in your business, and then they can find great joy, take your directions, and then really make it their own by infusing their great eye for detail into those creations, it's going to make the world of difference. Now, I want to invite you over into our Facebook group, and that is called Raising Creators. This week, we are going to dive into something brand new in there, and that is our digital book club. As parents, as we're out there raising creators, it's sometimes nice to have a community of like-minded parents who are walking this walk with us that we can turn to and ask for advice or just to know that there's somebody who's holding you up and is going to be there when you need them. And one of the ways we're going to do that for each other and show up for each other is by diving into a book. And one of my new favorite ways to enjoy books is to listen to them digitally because I can take it on my morning walks. I can listen when I'm in the car. And yes, I still also either get the Kindle version of it or the hard copy because As I'm listening sometimes, I like to go back in there and highlight and dog ear pages and flag pages and write myself notes in the margins. So inside of our group, we're going to continue this discussion about raising creators. And for us to be able to do that, we need to make some shifts in ourselves. So the first book we are going to dive into is Brendan Burchard's Life's Golden Ticket. Now, this is a book that I've read multiple times and I've listened to, and I most recently listened to it on the way back from She's Building Her Empire Live when I was in Milwaukee in April. And as I was driving listening to this book, that is when the idea for this book club really came into being because I don't know if there's someone in your household that likes to read the same kind of books that you do. In mine, that's not the case. My husband is not really a reader. He does read, but he doesn't like to read the same things as me. And sometimes I just want to be able to discuss what I've learned or my ahas with other mamas, other entrepreneurs who are going through the same things in their lives. Because again, my friends, we definitely need a community. We need a tribe. And we need to find a tribe that is like-minded, has similar goals, and has similar interests. And if you're out there, and you're a mama, and you're raising kids, and you want them to grow up and be creators, I hope that you will come and join us inside of our group, Raising Creators, as we dive into our first book in this digital book club, and you're welcome to read the hard copy as well. It's going to start this week, and I hope you'll join me, and I'm excited for this adventure we're going to take together because as we are raising these creators, it is so nice to know that we have one another to lean on for support, encouragement, and on our quest to raise creators, isn't it nice to know that someone has your back. 
I look forward to seeing you inside of our group and diving into our very first book together. Okay, my friends, we're back again tomorrow for another strategy for a successful summer. I wish you a very happy Monday, and I will catch you tomorrow. Cheers.